I've always pondered what I could create from these fabric scraps. I've discovered several creative ways to transform them into adorable birds. Today, I'll introduce you to yet another method for turning your fabric scraps into birds. First, let's get acquainted with using our pattern. We'll commence by cutting out the bird's body, including the beak. This pattern will be our most handy tracing tool. Next, we'll proceed to cut out the patterns for the beak and eyes. Cut out the entire bird drawing. Carefully trim the main shape, leaving the bird's leg section untouched. Grab a pin. We'll create pinholes along the leg shape. Be sure to maintain a roughly 3 mm gap between each hole. Create a hole at the eye position as well. Now, it's time to introduce the bondaweb. Bondaweb has two sides, one with non-stick paper and the other with plastic paper. Trace the bird body shape onto the bondaweb. Cut out the bird body shape. I've placed a bondaweb backing paper, you can use baking paper, on my ironing board to protect it from any adhesive residue. Double check both sides of the bondaweb, heat and bond. Ensure the plastic side is facing up. Gather the fabric scraps you'd like to use for this project. Select only the smallest pieces from your collection. Include a bit of black fabric for the beak. Before proceeding, it's crucial to iron the fabric scraps flat. Once all the fabric scraps are flat, let's start arranging them on the bondaweb, starting with the black piece. Make sure it covers the entire beak area. Carefully iron it on without touching the other part of the bondaweb. Now, let's place all our beautiful fabric scraps onto the bondaweb bird body. Once the entire bird body is covered with fabrics, secure them in place with the iron. Ensure that all the fabrics are adhered to the bondaweb. Flip it over and give it another firm press. Trim off any excess fabric. Cut away any overlapping fabric to make free motion embroidery easier. Use a water erasable pen to outline the bird body shape. Thick, firm felt serves as an excellent base for fabric scraps bird free motion embroidery. We'll use the water erasable pen to mark the pre-poked holes. Connect the dots to reveal the leg's shape. Peel off the backing paper from the bird and iron it onto the base felt. Carefully cut out the wing shape. Place the wing shape on the bird and trace it. We only need a rough outline of the wing. Be cautious not to tear the fabric while drawing. 
Set the sewing machine to the free motion embroidery setting. Now, let's begin sewing. Start slowly, don't rush at first. Allow yourself to embrace any imperfections and let the needle guide you. Relax your arm and gradually achieve your desired results. Remember, the charm of free motion embroidery lies in its imperfections. Let's add highlights to the bird's eye. Create a white thread knot, or French knot, on the top left side of the bird's eye. Use a brush with clean water to remove the water erasable marker. Now, let's transform this embroidery piece into a charming bird charm. Place another piece of felt beneath the bird to conceal any messy stitches. Ensure it's as large as the bird piece or slightly bigger. Insert the charm string between the two pieces of felt. Position it at the back of the head to make the bird stand more naturally. Use white thread to stitch around the entire bird. Trim away any excess felt. Please exercise patience, as evenly cutting around two layers of thick felt can be challenging. Voila! Our zero-waste fabric scraps bird charm is now complete.